Hey, how's it going YouTube? This is Sick Eric back again with another video and today we're going to be going over uh, new gestures that are brought to you by Goodlock, Samsung Goodlock. And uh, if you haven't seen my video on that before, I'll post it in the description down below. And what the Goodlock is, is sort of a customization that you can get off the Galaxy Store. Customizes your lock screen, your notification, uh, your task manager, like as far as different tasks you could do and how it looks, your panels, and etc. Clock face, which does a whole bunch of different types of clocks on your lock screen and your always on display. Well, now they have a new feature called one hand operation. And what this allows you to do is when you go up and open it, this allows you to have gestures on your device which allows you to navigate your device so say you hide your navigation bar at the bottom as I am right now you could have gestures that you swipe on over to the side you could do horizontal direction diagonal up diagonal down and then you could do long swipe so if I swipe on over to the edge I go back if I swipe up I go home if I swipe down I lock my device so it's really really cool when you lock the device it'll unlock you don't have to put your finger you don't have to put your pin or anything so I really really like that feature and then if you long slide it'll bring up your panels and then slide again it'll go back slide up it'll go home slide down lock and so on and so forth so really really cool let me go ahead and run through the uh, settings for you so here are the settings on one hand operation plus so uh, you can set vibration level transparency of the little piece right here sort of looks like the edge apps does I don't know if you can see that real quick it looks almost like the edge apps but it's at the bottom right there there you go right along here and then there's the edge apps and you can put this on either side or have it on both sides right now I have it on the right side you can set it on both sides uh, you can set the size of it increase the width of it as you can see right there and then touch area small uh, swipe action distance and right now these are the gestures I have so horizontal direction will be your back key so if you swipe across it'll go back diagonal up swipe up it'll go down diagonal down it'll go screen off and you can set these for a whole bunch of different options uh, quick panel show soft keys which will show the back and recent button over here in a little box uh, none recent previous app quick panel and etc and you can set this for all of the different gestures and then for long swipe uh, horizontal I have none diagonal up I have none diagonal down will be to uh, have the recent key although I probably will do this for a quick panel and then horizontal direction would be for recent so if I long it'll bring up my recents if I long down It'll bring my notification panel and etc. If I swipe that way, back, back, long down, brings down my panels, long sideways, recent panel. And then if I want to go home, just swipe up. And then if I want to lock the device, swipe down, like so. So it's really, really cool, and I really enjoyed this feature. Uh, so if you guys want to check this out, just go on over to the Samsung Galaxy App Store and search Goodlock if you don't already have it. And like I said, I'll post a link in the description for my video on how to install Goodlock and use it. And once you're in Goodlock, um, you're probably going to have updates of all of these if you've already installed it. And they're all just pretty much tweaks 
so I have an update to edge lighting and it'll tell you fix edge lighting function to work on all phones you know the updates and what they involve and stuff like that so when you go on a good lock then you're gonna see one hand operation plus you're gonna click on it you're just gonna click either install if you haven't installed it hit install and then you're gonna hit just go back into the app and then you'll have all your settings right here and etc let me go ahead and set my transparency to high because I don't want to see that bar on the side so that's pretty much it it's really really nice feature swipe on over swipe up lock the device really really nice long you have everything on there and I think that's pretty cool it's on the side it would have been cooler if it was at the bottom but I don't mind it being on the side it's really really nice swipe down to lock hold for your notifications and then that's pretty much it really really nice it makes it easier to use so if you like to hide your nav buttons you could do that and then you won't have to have your nav buttons on there you can just do a whole bunch of gestures so that is the um, one-handed operation one hand operation plus for good lock and like I said go ahead if you haven't installed this app install it it's really really nice features I'll post the link in the description for the video that I did before on how to install it and how to use it and the one hand operation plus is just a odd an add-on for this right here so thank you guys for watching if you got any questions comment down below I'll try to help you guys as much as I can and don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.